everyone, this is Pranav Hureka and I help companies improve their security by finding and reporting high severe vulnerabilities to them. So when I first came across bug bounties three years ago and I saw people posting pics of getting some bounties from companies like Facebook, Google or companies hosting their program on bug crowd hacker one, one question came to my mind about how can I get started as a bug hunter? and how can I start making some money? Along the journey, I did many different things. If you look at me three years ago, I was a very different person with very less knowledge and education about bug bounties. So in this talk, I'm going to help you learn how can you get started as a bug hunter and then will guide you what things you should do to become better at bug hunting. So let's get started. Little bit about me, I am a bug hunter and I am in top 10 of Facebook white hat list. I do security consulting as well. Currently I am working on development trainings for bug hunters so they can be better at bug hunting. So today I am going to talk about bug bounty and how to learn, where to learn, where to hack, all these things. So let's move on to next slide. So what is bug bounty? According to Wikipedia, this is the definition of bug bounty. But I'd like to simplify it. Companies run a bug bounty program and allows hackers to hack into their systems and then companies pay them monetary rewards. So hacker or bug hunter find vulnerabilities in the application and gets paid for it. So you as a bug hunter make money if you help companies improve their security. So now is the question why you should consider doing bug hunting or why you should be a bug hunter. First of all bug hunters make a lot of money. Second companies recognize you. You can come up in news for your bugs and helping the company. If you're looking for jobs then you can put up your bug bounty performance in the resume your findings etc all other things i can guarantee you that a bug hunter is more likely to get picked up for the job or 100 school graduates one can even set up their own business because you have the knowledge you have the money and you have everything to do it most important important thing here is good cause. As a bug hunter, you are legally helping some companies to improve their security. So you are a good guy and a white hat hacker. And in the end, you are contributing towards helping secure the internet. So this is why you should do bug hunting. Let's look up at some stats. There are two more important things here first of all is money and second is adoption of bug bounties by industry how much is demand for bug hunters so you should consider doing bug hunting this table here is from hacker report 2018 by hacker one which shows that a top hunter in india is earning 16 times the salary of an engineer which i believe is a lot of money but these stats are limited to hacker one and doesn't include bounty stats from bug crowd or independent programs of Facebook or Google. Still, according to hacker one, top hunter is making 16 times the money. So let's move on to next slide. Okay. So now according to state of bug bounty report 2017 by bug crowd, various industries have started adopting bug bounties. So demand for hacking this application is huge. So as a bug hunter, you have a lot of work to do and a lot of money to be earned. Both of these points, money and adoption by industries adds up to why you should consider becoming a bug hunter. Now let's see how to learn. When I started with bug bounty, I always wanted to hack Facebook and get my name on Facebook Hall of Fame. 
I tried finding a bug for nine months and I was unsuccessful. But I had submitted around 50 plus invalid issues. You can imagine three years ago, I was just a college kid with no guidance and nothing. Later, I got my first bounty on HackerOne that was $100 for a single bug. That moment was amazing. After this, in two months, I got my first hit on Facebook and I got my name there. From that day onwards, I focused only on two things, changing my mindset and learning about developing methodologies. So same thing applies to you. You should change your mindset and you should develop your own methodologies. This is a very famous quote by Henry Ford, which I follow every time. The man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't are both right. Which one are you? I follow this quote. I changed my mindset and I always say I can do it and I always do it. That's why you can see my blog and observe I have found really bad bugs on Facebook. So you need to follow this and start with hunting. The second thing I want to point out is the methodology. I learn the vulnerability. I learn how to find it. Then I replicate it on a bug bounty program. So I get paid on the bug bounty program for finding the same vulnerability. So if you follow this method, you'll always know how to hack. You can skip the point one of developing a practice life, but you can just learn and practice the vulnerability and replicate on bug bounty programs. I followed this methodology from in my last six months and I was pretty successful. I was very fast in practicing the bug and then finding it on real target. So this is what you should do. Let's move on. After I got my first bounty, this question came to my mind about where should I learn? If I learn more, I can earn more by helping more companies. There are hundreds of blogs on hacking. There are many YouTube channels teaching you hacking, etc, etc. These all things may misguide you or just tell you how to learn and what I did. First of all, after finding few bugs starting three years ago, I messaged many other bug hunters and I didn't receive any reply from anyone as they felt why the fuck they want to reply to this college kid who just found a bug on Facebook. Someone did reply me and told me to read web app hackers. I read each and every word of that book and it drastically changed my life. So I highly recommend you to read web app hackers and do everything what it says. There are other books you should read. Mastering Modern Web App Penetration Testing. I happen to have wrote a guest chapter in that book so you can check it out. Web App Hacking 101 is written by one bug hunter so you can check it out. Another bug hunter wrote Breaking into Information Security, which is also a good book to get started. So I recommend you to read books, gain hardcore knowledge and apply it on bug bounty programs. The next thing is, now I suggested only books for web app hacking, but as you go deep into bug bounties, there's a lot rather than just web hacking. So if you want to explore mobile app hacking, then you should consider reading these books. I have personally read this book, so I am recommending it here. But there are many more books which can help you. There are new areas like IoT, etc. But if you are getting just getting started with bug bounty, I recommend you to only focus on web and mobile and afterwards build from there. Now let's move on to next slide. You have to learn from 
other like-minded people so why other bug hunters you have to see why other bug hunters are successful and what they are doing and what you are not doing so you are unsuccessful you can just replicate their steps and you will also become like them so meet up like minded people you can find these people in infosec conferences like defcon appsec etc what you have to do you have to learn from these people you have to steal their techniques stealing here refers to learning from them you don't actually steal anything but you are learning from them what they are doing and replicating what they did the next thing videos videos can help you learn more quickly rather than blogs so if you cannot go to a conference you can just watch the same videos on youtube you learn one most important thing by watching these videos is that you learn new techniques which you can use in your bug hunting so i recommend you to watch one video in a week at least you can visit this channels defcon or oaps and learn from there so you pick up new techniques and you apply those in your bug hunting this will change your bug hunting <coughs> now blogs many people write blogs and these techniques are never shared in a book or in a video so you need to read blogs and learn the techniques which they use to hack i won't provide you actual blogs as many of you don't know what to do by reading a blog post but you'll get the links in the last slide of this ppt and you can just check it out also if you are part of any community you might get all blogs or links there so i am not going to provide anything specific in this slide let's move on next thing is community get involved with communities if you mix with people who are at a higher level of success than you then they will pull you up to their level so if you get involved with successful bug hunters and take guidance from them they will always pull you up to their level most important things are you get new ideas and you learn faster faster sorry it is you learn faster so for example it used to take me at least 4 to 6 months when i came across a topic across a new topic like ssrf i need to research and learn the topic i used to look up twitter and do all sorts of things to learn it now as i got involved with bug bounty communities bug bounty communities like bug bounty forum and bug bounty world i can easily learn any new topic in matter of 15 days same applies with everyone who are part of these groups let's move on now one best book is equal to 100 good friends but one good friend is equal to a library as you get involved in community you can meet new friends and these friends help you with anything because they are equal to a library like in bug bounty few people always work together and they hack huge companies like yahoo or any other company similarly you can increase your skills and be better at bug hunting by developing relationships with others and you both are in process make some good friends now these are two communities i recommend you to join as they are solely focused only on bug bounty join bug bounty world join bug bounty forum both will help you in your bug bounty becoming bug bounty journey becoming a better bug hunter now as you know how to learn and where to learn now you need to know where to hack this is very important of all slides any hacker is not allowed to test any systems without company's permission if you are doing this then you become a black hat hacker and for doing this you can be put in prison for 5 to 10 years in usc while in india you can be put in jail for 3 years or so 
So always test or hack sites who run bug bounty programs like Facebook, Google's or programs hosted on bug crowd, hacker ones, Mac and other bug bounty platforms because they authorize programs such programs authorize you to test their systems and you're always protected and are working legally if anything goes wrong these companies will protect you so always only hack companies who are running bug bounty programs now in conclusion the common truth is you will need to change your mindset acquire right skills to become a better bug hunter nothing is going to be easy so don't fall for traps you will need to work on these things and if you follow what's given in the talk and the methodology you'll become a better bug hunter now it's time for free gift from me i have developed a burp suite mastery training course which will help you improve your pen testing i faced many problems from simple problems like setting up burp suite with my browser and difficult problems like using burp collaborator etc and no one really helped me i needed to learn it myself so in future to help other people avoid such problems i developed a training course for it and you can get it for free just by using coupon code bug bounty talk free at checkout you can also refer this course to other people who are learning bob suite also please stay tuned for more training courses which will help you become better at bug hunting you can follow me here twitter facebook or visit my site and please make sure to join my newsletter which i send out every thursday which contains articles or video which will help you become better at bug hunting these are few references which you can check out these are few links which are very helpful and thank you for listening and making it so long please sign up for bug bounty world and check out check it out